train. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> what do we think about uh, maybe heading straight to Ryan so we don't get whacked with this uh, little storm that's heading toward Victor's? Gonna fucking stall, man. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Average Aviator. I'm Travis, and today I'm gonna go to a fly in. A bush plane flying. A bunch of bush planes are flying in uh, a couple places. Uh, one's Greenville, Pennsylvania, and one's uh, Cheat River, which is actually a really cool airport down in uh, West Virginia. And uh, I'm going to go play around with them in my aerobatic biplane. <laughs> That's the really cool thing about the, the Skybolt is not only can I go um, last weekend, I went to an aerobatic competition, and this weekend I'm going to go fly around some bush planes and uh, land on some short fields. So I'll, say, I'll show you a little bit of the setup and how I do that, how I go camping in this thing, and, and then, uh, yeah, just going to have some fun. But it's all fueled up, everything's taken care of. Let's get flying. Well, I just landed at Greenville. They've got a beautiful grass runway here. I've uh, came here on my cross-country solo way back in the day, but I haven't been here since. Now that we're parked, let's go uh, see what it's all about. So this is what this uh, fly-in is all about. I uh, landed, talked to some guys, and now we're gonna go take back off again, land at some random strip that's not even marked, and have some fun. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Well, it was pretty cool. Uh, flew formation with a cub back from that <laughs> little strip. I didn't realize I could fly formation with a cub with this thing, but you can slow it down pretty good, actually. So, flew formation with the cub back uh, back to Greenville. I think there's going to be dinner here soon, which is good because I'm pretty hungry. I think tomorrow we're going to fly down to Cheat River, which is what I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm going to camp out here today at Greenville. Um, see a lot of people are camping to you know already today. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna meet some people, look at some cool airplanes, and have some fun. Those are 31s. The experimental cub here, he's got 35s. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, look at the tires on that thing. Some useless, no good, <laughs> worthless <laughs> claim, and there's fire on the mountain, lightning in the It rained pretty much all night last night, pretty hard. <laughs> um, I waterproofed my tent, but apparently the one thing I didn't waterproof was my floor. And so I've got some puddles. It's like playing floor is lava, except the floor is water and it'll soak all your crap. But <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're just gonna wait for the clouds to pass and the rain to pass and the clouds clear out. And we're gonna head out to um, Cheat River. If I get there, we'll see if I get there at all. See how it goes. 
So we weren't able to make it to Cheat River at all because of the weather. So we decided as a group to go explore a bunch of landing strips in northwest Pennsylvania. So a lot of the airstrips that they were planning on going to were really short grass strips, some of them just in the back of a farmer's field. And because it had rained the entire night before, I decided the safe bet would be to not take the Skybolt, and I just hitched a ride with an awesome guy named Raleigh in the back of his Bearhawk. I was able to film a lot of it from that day, and I caught a lot of awesome stuff on the radio. Mike, departing uh, 1-5 intersection, Greenville. It's uphill here. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah, she's a bit loud. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Greenville traffic, uh, Super Cup 276, Mind Delta, uh, departing 1-5 intersection, take off. Greenville. Uh, three of the weeks, uh, push down, 275. We're all on 275, right over here. There's pretty decent visibility in this thing. You ready? Yep. He's here with me. Great value is a speedy little cub. Let me think about uh, maybe heading straight to Ryan so we don't get whacked with this uh, little storm that's heading toward Victor's. I like that idea better. That sounds like a plan. Alright, the Ryan Horgan. Wow, that is quite a breeze up here. Yeah, it's pretty cross. I'm expecting it to get a little less down here once we get below the trees, but yeah. we'll see. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. Alright, we're gonna land a ways down there since we've got the space and I don't need all that much room. Cub at the east end, are you ready to roll? Uh, 69 Mike, toilet paper here. We're gonna bring up the rear. You go right ahead. Formation. All inclusive. Equal cool opportunity. I just I can't believe how kindly uh, one is talking. I am so proud of him. He's watching his tongue today. That's crazy. Well, champ, when you come in here, just uh, you don't need to pin it on the end of the runway. You know, you can kind of watch where some of these other guys are touching down. I did hit a pretty good wedge spot there, but I was on kind of the right side, about halfway down. How we doing back there? Is everybody getting off the ground? We've got one, two, three, we got five to go. At one point, we were trying to climb out in formation with the Carbon Cub, but the Carbon Cub was climbing so slowly that trying to keep position, we ended up getting to the onset of a stall. Got a fucking stall, man. But even though it looks and sounds really dramatic on camera, there's really no real danger at all. We recovered safely and kept on flying, no problem. Raleigh and about half the other formation ended up heading back to Greenville early, but a bunch of the Cubs stayed out. So when I got back to Greenville, I hopped in the Sky Bolt and I took off to go meet them on their way back. I'm on your six about a mile back. After we had landed and we were eating dinner that evening, it couldn't have been more perfect as a rainbow just appeared right over the airport. Even though I never made it to Cheat River like I wanted to, it was still an awesome fly-in. I met so many amazing people. That night, I hung out with the group one last time. The next morning when I flew back home, I topped it off with some formation with the friends I had just made. Well, we're back at the hangar. The wad fly-in was a success. Uh, got the sweatshirt here for it, but uh, met a ton of awesome people over the weekend. Um, made a bunch of new friends. Flew a ton of formation with Cubs, uh, even though it was kind of kind of interesting doing that with a biplane, just barely hanging on to the stall <laughs> while they're flowing almost full power. But uh, it was a ton of fun. Um, landed at some some cool strips. Got to hang out. Um, like I said, with some awesome people. Even gained a cool sticker on the back there. But this uh, vlog style really isn't the typical video that I've 
you know style that I make but um, I've really been not motivated to do anything the last couple months uh, so hopefully this will help me get back into it and I'll start making some more videos and uh, if you have any comments on what you'd like to see leave them down in the uh, comment section below or if you have any questions you can uh, send me a message on Instagram average aviator um, or send me an email that's uh, also down in the description but hopefully you enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll see ya Was there a note him saying don't fly over there or something? Yeah, it says left traffic only. This asshole hates airplanes. <laughs> don't fucking go this way. <laughs> uh, the uh, the guy yesterday, that guy that called up yesterday. That was